Lovers, um, got there in the end today, broke the, the famous Portland United Loveman hoodoo. Um, fully deserved though, I think, our win. Um, down to 10 men. Still probably looked like an 11 a side game to me, but. Yeah, well, I'm not sure it's a famous hoodoo, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's one that's broken nonetheless, so that's nice. Um, I didn't do it anyway since he went beaten, so I can I can tick that one off, which is which is good. But more, more importantly, we, we got through into the next round. We obviously made five changes today from, from Tuesday, um, and obviously that, that disrupted us a little bit. First opening in 10, 15 minutes, we looked a little bit a little bit lost in the shape. But once we got hold of the game and we started putting balls in the box, and Jake, our captain, won every first ball pretty much, and obviously that's where the the first goals come from essentially we got up the pitch that way and we, we were in complete cruise control until the second half and yeah I'm not sure it is a red I mean obviously it's difficult when a player's down is badly injured um, that, that sometimes we, you will see on the telly it affects referees decisions I think that's probably what's happened yeah I mean as a yardstick same things happen the other way um, somebody's gone in high on Jake caught his leg and it was yellow, so yeah, yeah I, I think it's yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult. Um, it's gone against us today. Um, we said at half time if it was going to go against us, a decision like that that put us down to 10 men for a, you know, 65 70 minutes, we'd sooner that be in the VARs than in, in league football. Yeah, um, and we dealt with it really well. I thought, you know, we, the fir end of the first half, so the last 15 minutes, we rang it on a little bit at 1 0, um, but we come into half time in a good chat. Um, we righted a few wrongs of, of what we were doing in, in second half. We come out and, and dismantled them to get a free there. We were brilliant at that point. And then two two really free goals have gotten back in the game across that it's got caught up in the wind, up, I believe, and Rob's ended up in the back of the net with it. And then and then a second goal from a counter attack from a set piece. And, and that genuinely is their only two shots at goal, pretty much. So you know they've had a few long range efforts, but nothing. And a couple of scrambles in the box at three two, which happens, but. We were well, well worth our win. Um, and I, I do believe it was 11 v 11. We'd have kept a clean sheet and beaten them by a bigger margin. There was a big difference between the two sides in terms of ability. I, I think that's completely fair to say that. But yeah. they've got a good, you know, their manager's a good player. He had a good game. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. He, he caused some real problems to us. And, you know, the right back I thought was very good for them. Um, they were obviously, they were bright and tidy in some areas. And I'm sure with a couple of years sort of, Football under their under their belts that that young group will go on and be better, but you know they were they were no match for us today. I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I mean talking talk about levels of performance, I think Aces three assists uh, today. Only only the other one's a penalty for a handball, but the three goals he has been instrumental in all of those. He was phenomenal today. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. We we I must admit there's not since I've come to Bristol there's only been. One player that I've been frightened of having against us in a side, and Ace was that. I remember when he was a bit and he scored two against us, and then he went to Chip and Sobri, and I was always, oh, you know, you're, you're looking open. He's not in the eleven. He's a, he's a tremendous talent. Um, he settled in really well with the, with the lads. He's a good bloke, um, and he's he's been absolutely phenomenal today. And if those are the levels that he can hit with not being fully fit, um, he's going to be a good player for us the way we play. And yeah, man of the match comes. Country mile, but Nick obviously who he's coming for is coming and got his goal. Um, you know, Bailey Crew, who hasn't had a great deal of starts lately, and been, unfortunately, he's got his goal. Dave Daru back from injury, got his goal. Skip back from injury, got his goal. So, some really, you know, if you look at it, it's really good things. Obviously, losing Ryan for, for three games isn't, isn't ideal, but we're, 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 we've got some really good sort of depth in that area. Lewis Edge has come on in a sensational second half, and probably for the first six weeks of our season, was our best player. So, We'll, we'll be absolutely fine with Lou taking the shirt and we've got Aaron to come back in as well. So so no problems, that's where the depth will help. And yeah, just just pleased to get through and we look forward to, to, to Monday's draw and seeing who we can get. And it's always nice having a, having a cup that you sort of go a little bit further in than, than we did yeah. last year, so good, yeah. Yeah, and on to Tuesday night, Mango's away. Um, first time we've been up there since six, seven years ago, I think we, we lost Thinking of that, to be honest. Um... Yeah, it'd be a tough game. Be a tough game. I mean, I've got to be honest. Today's taken out me a little bit. It was a, um, it was a stressful, it was a stressful game. Um, I didn't particularly enjoy some of the the things that, that went on around the game. And that's not direct to the, at the Portland. It was, it was a difficult game. There were some tough decisions made that went against us. And, and it, it was difficult and it was stressful and, and I must admit I'm looking forward to an evening off and a Sunday off before before we turn our attentions to what will be a, a really difficult game on Tuesday.
Tuesday. Uh, we'll see how many of our lads uh, are affected by today's game, and yeah, then we're, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But I think for, for us, it's it's nice to get a win, nice to get lads on a score sheet who have been missing for a few weeks. Um, and yeah, I think it shows where we're at that we're able to be a team who are you know halfway up the Wessex League um, with ten men for the vast majority of the game, and, and under you know a lot of a lot of contentious decisions went as against and um, yeah so we, we've come through it brilliant scored four goals um, on another day we, we'd probably win a little bit more comfortably but you know nice, nice to get into the hat and yeah we look forward to the draw yeah I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday top man. brilliant cheers, cheers.